Okay guys, we're back. How's it going? Laura's a little cold, even though I put her in this nice jacket. Okay, we got a little bit more puzzle solving to do. Looks like it kind of reset this thing since I turned my game off and came back. But that's okay. My car has a fresh oil change, it has been inspected, and I am ready to do this. This has nothing to do with my car, I just felt like saying that. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually do this from this side. Yeah, that'll probably work. I don't see why not. Instead of having to bring it back over here first. What? Oh, she attached... Damn it, that wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> Come on, Lara, use your damn head. Can I just kick this? Ah, shit, don't fall. There we go. And counterbalance. Right. No, you're supposed to attach it. Why do you do this to me, Lara? I mean, that'll work, I guess. I was going to have to do that anyway. <laughs> All right, into the drink with you. Now hopefully this is all we really need to do to solve this area. There's still things I need to collect. I haven't figured out how to get to that stuff yet. No, don't stop there. God damn it. Should have known it wouldn't be that easy. I wonder if they're going to respawn any enemies around here. That would actually piss me off. Uh... I wonder if I... Hmm. I might regret this, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, oh! Get... Oh, oh, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got it, I got it, uh, 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 grab it, grab it, Laura, oh my god, okay, get up there, get up, get, okay, I'll take it, it was messy, but it works, <laughs> okay, yank this guy, Yank him again. Get the fuck over here, you pile of shit. Is that because... Because of the water flow, it won't actually let me... Hmm. Okay. We need to actually... Figure out a way to pull it up this way. Looks like there's an anchor point here. I'm not sure what this is for. Hmm. It's kind of stupid that I can't just keep pulling the rope. If I can attach a rope to it, why wouldn't she just keep pulling it? Like, don't let it go. <laughs> it's not an actual game mechanic, but it seems like it would actually be real simple in real life. Well, shit. So, am I supposed to block the water flow somehow? Or just figure out a way to bring this thing up? is kind of an obstruction thing there, but it's very incomplete. Oh, wait. Look at this. I wonder what this does. Oh! Ain't that some shit. That should clear the way a bit. Alright, excellent. I guess I really didn't need to bring a second one from over there after all. Whatever. OK. 
Okay, so where are you gonna go? You should just funnel down there quite neatly, shouldn't you? Ah! Could use the water somehow. <laughs> All right, maybe that's what this guy's for. Do it. Yay! Victory! think that doing that was going to piss these people off? Oh, fuck. Keep going. I'm trying to jump. It won't let me. Fuck. Ah, oh, that was probably why. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Through the flames! Where am I even going? Woo. Okay. Okay. This is fine, right? Holy... Oh shit! Oh, there is explosive jars right next to me. I don't like that. Oh shit! Fuck. Well, here we are, guys. Received up in flames pack. Oh, fuck your packs. Well, I guess we're leaving that stuff behind for now. I, uh, figured that once I climbed that statue, I would have an opportunity to actually try and go grab those other collectibles that were, you know, sitting up top. It appears that was not actually the case. Also, I don't think I ever actually sat down at that base camp. I really hope I'm still able to fast travel to it. Because I don't know if it just activates right away or if you technically have to, you know, go sit at it before it's activated. And that would make me really sad if I can't fast travel back there. I made it. I'm out. Lara. Thank God you're all right. Bring the Atlas to me and our observatory in the mountains. I'm on my way. Okay, before we do that, we're going to see if we can't scale this thing here. Broadband climbing arrow. Alright. Had to check. Oh shit. These are traps, aren't they? Better be careful. This is like that underwater level in the original Ninja Turtles game. I was always actually pretty good at that level. Because I played it about a million times. Okay, detective vision is clean. But 
yeah, it seems like somebody like Lara might have second thoughts about destroying the hell out of that statue just to create a path. <laughs> and she had to have known that it was going to piss those people off. She just didn't care. Seems like in most of these areas, I don't actually have an option of moving up or down in the water. It's just kind of, it's on a set plane, and you just follow the path. Which I'm actually okay with. five more coins. I think I can buy something now. It was either 120 or 130. Well, no. Check that out soon. I also have two skill points to spend. All right. It's been a while since I found one of these boxes. <laughs> Full auto shotgun. Damn, that's a that's an entirely other shotgun than the the last piece I found. I'm building two shotguns right now. Full auto sounds pretty damn good though. This commemorates the construction of a great city. Katesh. Still not up to level six Greek or level seven, whatever. I don't know how the scale works. Laura! Laura, are you up there? Jonah, is that you? <laughs> Little bird! You're alive! I, I knew it! My god! Jonah, what are you doing here? Where are you? I'm up here in some kind of fortress. You can thank Jacob. His people picked me up half dead out on the tundra. I can't believe you came after me. <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? I told you I got your back. I couldn't leave you out here alone. I'm on my way up to you now. Don't go anywhere. Hadn't planned on it. Be careful out there. Alright, our good buddy Jonah make it an appearance. I can't say I expected that at this particular point in the story, but that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try something here. Oh, I was hoping I could kind of like zip to it like Spider-Man style. Doesn't really work though. Ooh, lush greenery. We're back outside. We're in the valley. Find your way up the mountains to the observatory. Huh. I was kind of expecting more of an encounter with the, uh, the Deathless Ones or whatever the hell they're called. Okay, so where am I now? I can't, I can't get a read on this map. I never know where the hell I am. Especially in this valley area. It's like very confusing. Alright, so that... The yellow arrows indicate like a... Like a funnel type area. Leading from, you know, one large region to another. So... Infirmary. The fuck was the infirmary? I don't know, but there's apparently a tomb right over here. That might be the one that we needed... The underwater breather for so maybe we'll see if we can hit that since we are out here now hello person guy Lara glad to see you're still with us the invaders are spread all over the valley but we're pushing back where we can if you can lend a hand you're always welcome we know we can trust you I will certainly murder anybody I see. For you. Can't talk to him? Okay. Alright. That tomb is... down here, apparently? Down farther? It's probably a cave down there. Gotta get down there safely. Probably should use that rope right there. <laughs> Dude. 
Dude, look at all these animal bones out here. There's probably a fucking bear or something in here, right? I will shoot a bear right in the face. Hello? Huh, guess not. He'll probably get me on the way back out. <laughs> Right. Yeah, this must have been the one I found before. I couldn't remember the exact location, but... Underwater breather has given us access. Man, I hope that doesn't mean that, uh... This is gonna be, like, a whole underwater thing. I know I cry about that every tomb I go into. They always seem to have water in some fashion. Great. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so we got a tight rope around this little branch here and not get murdered by the water. Looks pretty standard. Plenty of space. Nice. New base camp discovered. Whirlpool Sanctuary. Alright, well, before I forget... Take care of that. And we have a lot of points to spend. Maybe not a lot, but two. A scroll case inlaid with ivory and gems. Oh. Interesting. It's been altered with this rough strap of leather, and it's been used to store plants. What's interesting about that? Okay, guys, what do we want to spend these skill points on? Hunter is the thing we have upgraded the least, so maybe we should focus on this for a point or two. Increase ammo. I, ammo has not been a problem. Animals glow when using survival instincts. Also, not been a problem. Headshot indicator will appear. Meh. Increased amount of natural crafting resources. Uh, Man-made crafting resources. These are all not super great. The triple shot could be cool. Like, very situationally. A lot of these guys I'm coming across now are like all armored the fuck out, though. And the finishers, I haven't even really been using. The shotgun finisher, I might use more than the bow finisher. Because the finishers you tend to use when you're like in the thick of shit. So I don't often have the bow equipped when I'm, you know, right up in a dude's grill. So maybe we'll... Hmm. Yeah, let's grab this one. And then we will come over to the Brawler category. Actually, you know what I want? I've been putting it off for a while. I think I want to get that skill that lets me jump from high places. Lightfoot. Land safely without damage from substantial heights. Press B to roll when landing. Sounds like that's a, a timing-based thing. I'll probably end up fucking it up every time I try it regardless. But we'll still give it a shot. <laughs> Nothing new there. And let's see, let's see. Still no new bow upgrades. But the rifle, we can do damage or reload speed. This rifle is already, like, stronger than it needs to be, in my opinion. 
So let's do more reload speed. And on the shotgun, looks like we can do... Uh, let's do... Let's do Rate of Fire. And that was almost all of our salvage and a lot of other resources. 